Hey guys, welcome to Hi. Black Bag. Hi. Hi. Mike Hi. And Jay. Oh, now we're doing hi yeah. at the end. Okay. Sure, Let's yeah, that's what we're doing it. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining us on our uh, new storyline. And uh, <coughs> as it says in the title, we are playing in the Dark Ages, in the Viking Age. Um, and uh, everybody is here. Uh, we're cyber Vikings, right? No, not no. cyber Vikings. Oh. Real oh. Vikings? Crap. Crap. Real That's Vikings. Actual Did Vikings? you roll up the wrong character? I That's don't know. We'll find out. Wednesdays is Cyber that, Vikings. Cyber Vikings. Is that the Shadow Run? That's. Oh shadow no, run? I thought you were talking about that history. Tuesdays. That History Channel show. Tuesdays. Cyber Vikings. Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can Cyber check out Vikings. Cyber Vikings on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the aliens guy with the hair. <laughs> yep. Aliens. <laughs> aliens. What if aliens? <laughs> exactly. Um, you guys are. Uh, uh, we're going to be playing in the city of Star, uh, Starvengar. And, um, Stavanger. Stavanger. Um, and, uh, Wait, how do you pronounce it? I, I say Stavanger. Stavanger? Stavanger. Okay, cool. Stavangar. Oh, I just do it like Will Arnett. That makes Stavangar. sense. Stavanger. But before we get into everything, um, uh, thank you guys for joining us. And we, um, uh, we have donations that you can do. Uh, we have, you can subscribe to Twitch now, which is really cool. Any, anything that helps us keep the lights on, we are, uh, you know, uh, your guys, you guys are what keep, keep us going. So we have a little thing in the corner that says what our donation goal is at this particular moment. Nick, do you, can you tell me where we're at right uh, now? 571. So we're Ooh, $5.71. <laughs> we're 571 out of a, out of a thousand. Uh, so, you know, we're trying to make our next uh, rent check and all that good stuff. So um, if you want to donate to the show, you can make things happen. Uh, we have to go over what the donations are real quick. We have pushes now. So yeah. players can have pushes. Um, if you have watched the show before, uh, Nick's uh, Jordan's character, Nick, would push a lot. Um, they can no longer push without... Uh, a donation. That's right. Uh, and what that means is, is if they roll something and they miss it, they can push their roll. And if if they don't get it, then it something horrible happens or something bad. Um, so it's kind of a double-edged sword, uh, and they can't re-roll them. I can get re-rolls, which is awesome. So you can get me re-rolls. Players get pushes. Yeah. Nobody wants to buy those. No, no not, not at all. Us. No, who wants yeah. to buy me stuff? Yeah. Um, now. Um, each character also has a pro and a con. We will get to those in a second when we introduce the characters. Uh, you can also add bad guys and good guys to a combat situation. You can donate stuff that happens on other games where you, you, can, you can donate a NPC tonight and then you know send us an email about what you're thinking. Um, uh, Texas Devin did this in the last time we did. He was a garbage man who came in and saved them from this horrible beast. Um, and so, then became a horrible beast and, then and he tried became, to murder all yeah, of us. Yeah, yeah. Was so, uh, and then we had, uh, uh, we've had a few NPCs, so you can, you can donate and do that. Um, and uh, so there's a lot of things that can change the game, uh, you know, because you guys are the Elder Gods. Uh, finally, uh, we're going to go around the table. We're going to start with uh, Jordan, because he's chewing um, stuff. <laughs> And um, we're going to have you say what your name is. Are we doing the standard West Otis rota rotation, which is me and then Ben and no. then Megan no. and, and then, then Michelle? Wes. And no, then I, Wes. No, you My guys, <laughs> you guys made that up. Don't put that on me. It's you, then Nick, <laughs> and then, then Nick. someone in the hallway. And someone yeah, over maybe. there. Yeah. Just, is somebody talking in there? <laughs> so we'll start with you. We'll go around. OK. I'm going to address everything to this camera, even if it's not on me. Hi, camera. Come in close. Hi. Uh, I'm Jordan Caves Callerman. You may know me from Black Bag on Saving Throw. And I will be playing Grimur. Uh, I am a, a young foundling uh, who was taken in by the Jarl's wife. Hold on, hold on. Pause for, oh, I can go? Okay. Um, against the Jarl's wishes. And I, uh, I got a strange illness as a, as a young child, which has uh, left me somewhat, somewhat sickly. Uh, it ruined one of my eyes, and uh, I have a little bit of the tremors. Um, and sometimes, sometimes I have uh, strange prophetic visions. That's my pro and my con. So if you guys want to activate either my pro or my con, it's prophecy. Uh, and what will happen is we will decide randomly what degree 
of, of importance this prophecy has. I will improvise either a good or bad prophecy, your choice, and then Wes will interpret that as, as he chooses to. <coughs> right. Um, so anyway, so I am a mystic of sorts. I'm also just weird. Well, we knew that. <laughs> I think that's pretty much everything. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Megan Caves. Um, you also know me from Black Bag. I guess that's something we need to say. Misadventures, a Harry Potter game, and a couple therapy, which you forgot about, of course. Um, anyway, I didn't forget about it. I just didn't want to mention which it. Which is a <laughs> video game stream that we do, not actual therapy. Just throwing that out there. Anyway, but I mean, um, eventually it will be actual. Well, therapy. and that was really but the goal. But that won't be recorded. True. Maybe it will. Mm. Mm. I, it remains to be seen. Um, okay, so I Go am. Now. <laughs> I am um, a young, up-and-coming warrior. Um, I am, my name is Birna Sklarsdotir. So say that a whole lot, and you'll get it. It'll be great. Um, and um, yeah, let's see what else is about me. I Birna. Should we get into Birna. our relationships? Uh, yeah. You can if you like. That would okay. make sense. Yeah. Well. Um, Michelle's character. Now you have to say her name. Ingvild. Ingvild is my mother, and um, y yeah. N -G -V -E -L -D. Y N G V I L D. Ingvild. Whew. No just normal how, spelling. Just how it's pronounced. Ingvild. <laughs> and uh, Ingvild. my uh, pro and con as well is reputation. So basically, um, she's an up and coming warrior and is constantly sort of trying to get out of her mother's shadow, who is also a very good warrior. And um, she's always doing things for glory. And sometimes um, her reputation precedes <laughs> her. Sometimes that's not such a good thing. Sometimes it is. Um, so yeah, if you want to purchase that, then you can do pro or con. <laughs> it's your choice. I think that's it for Birna. 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 Just, just, just to be bear. clear, I'm yeah. going to fuck up 90% of everything I say. Nope, we're going to make you say it until you say yep. it right, because you chose Vikings. <laughs> yep. Smart. Jordan will be replaced next uh, game. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you guys ben. real quick. Hi, I'm Ben Dunn uh, from Saving Throws Black Bag on Friday nights. Uh, and some other shows. I don't know. Um, I am playing Magnus Skullson. He is a well, he's a former berserker and current shipwright. I am uncle to Birna. He always says it right. And brother <laughs> to Yelkner. <laughs> uh, and special buddy to me. And special buddy to that weirdo. I don't know what that was like. Hey, that accent went you're weird. A, you're a roost Do Viking. <laughs> uh, I mean, it could be. Um, so my pro and con, uh, being a former berserker, uh, the reason that I'm a former may be coming out later in the game. Um, turn off what your the phone. What the was that? I didn't know it was on. Um, <laughs> but on, you can buy me a berserker broad. token. <laughs> uh, in the berserker token, you can choose either pro or con. I won't know until I get... Wes will give me the Berserker token, and if I choose to use it, when I choose to use it, and I will, uh, I won't know until that point if you chose pro or con. Pro means that, what was the pro? Uh, you get a boost to, uh, you get a, an advantage die. I get an advantage die to, to your my combat roll, rolls. To my combat rolls. So I get an adv uh, advantage roll to my combat rolls, which is awesome, and you should only do that one. Uh, <laughs> I mean, con means my spirit gets broken uh, due to a... a former past thing that will come up um, and all of my roles for a certain time period will be um, at a disadvantage at hard at hard which all is uh, I think half half, half of what it'll you be have half of uh, yeah so don't do that one a lot but the fun of it is Ben won't know but until I won't know <laughs> but I won't until know until it. I choose to use it and I will choose to use it all the time it's always going to be negative because they're going to force me to say Urfi Kirfir 70 million times. Magnus. Why would they force you to say Urfi Kirfir? Because it's the proper spot. Why are they making you do a Swedish chef impression? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Hi, I'm Michelle Lotus. Uh, you know me from Black Bag. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's catching on. Where do we on. know you it from, Wes? 
Um, and I will be playing Ingfield, who is a former S.H.I.E.L.D. maiden. And uh, she is now the ripe old age of 41, which uh, means she's she's one of the village elders. So old. So Very old. old. Yeah. <laughs> Almost dead. Right. <laughs> Might no, as well be dust. <laughs> <laughs> Put her on barge. <laughs> Light it on fire. <laughs> So she, um, Thank you, Captain she advises and trains. Um, she's been training her daughter, Birna, for, uh, you know, since she was old she enough to, to train. Uh, so she is training to be, you know, it. as a warrior. And um, I don't know what else to What's say. your pro and con? Oh, my pro and con. My pro. Which isn't on there. I put it on mine. Oh, okay. I wrote it down. Nice. Oh, good. Okay. Well, I'll say my con first because I'll say the pro second so you'll remember the pro better. Okay. The, the, the con first is um, arrow to the knee. I no, took she a, took an arrow I to took, the knee. I know. I took specific. an arrow to the knee a uh, long time ago in combat. Um, and um, that means that when we do, uh, when we're in a combat, I am last as far as initiative. So I would go last in that combat. So you don't, it's bad, that's a bad one. You don't want to do the con. But the pro, the pro is awesome. The pro is Daughter of Tear. And that means that she gets an advantage die uh, during uh, all combat rolls for that combat. So, so you guys have similar. Yeah, yeah. similar. Because, Same well, thing. we are siblings. So. That's true. Yes. Very true. She is much older. <laughs> much, oh. much older. <clears throat> hey, you picked it. <laughs> Let the jokes begin. All right, so that's everybody's pro and con. Um, uh, and I think uh, we're beginning to, uh, we're ready to begin. Yeah. Um, One thing before we begin, I want to point out, uh, because this is oh. Viking time, uh, Loot Crate, our nice sponsors, have given us Viking horns. So Woo drinking cool. horns. What the hell are you doing? Actually, from the you know show my Vikings. Patch, man. Uh, oh and because of that, I have provided us <laughs> mead to drink from Drinking Horns. Yay! Do you so, have something to open that with? It's, it's just a. Oh, I, I didn't know. Strong Viking Magnus. Hey, I thought it was a cork. I don't know why. Does it smell good? So while you while you uh, talk, I will. All right, go for start it. Start pouring. Uh, it's called season two, episode one. This is season one, episode one for yeah for yeah for, for Vikings. Vikings. Thank you. The problem is, is that. <laughs> Don't spill. Uh, you can't let go. This is going to be interesting. Let me get my die out now. So I'm going to say this and see right. if I say it right. Sylvan like Caliset. Thanks. <laughs> Sylvan Caliset, um, and if I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry, gave me three rerolls. Thank you very much. What? Woo it's already. What? No. All right. Okay. All right. You don't even know our characters yet. Why do you hate them? <laughs> All okay. right. I'm going to have to drink Ooh, heavily. This smells good. <laughs> I think they might hate them because of that. <laughs> you guys don't want to look at this, trust me. Dang. You look like the Phantom. <laughs> Caitlin would be so pleased. It was supposed to be smaller. It got unrolled. Well, you could roll it. Well, here, hold my mead. Now Bro. I have two. Mm. All, All right, right. of me. So, it's relatively late at night. Um, Score! Score! Oh, no! What are we saying? I don't know. Skull. No, skull. skull. You guys are in the hall. Uh, everyone's drinking and eating. There's a large fire. Yeah. It's still it's spring is is here, but the 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 wind. It's still cool winds outside. The ice ice is still in the bay. But what have, what's on everybody's mind is the fact that there is reports of uh, a coming invasion. Uh, oh. Now, unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, this uh, large contingent of Viking ships was frozen uh, into the uh, neighboring town just uh, 30 or 40 miles down the coast. And that, uh, 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 um, and the, you guys are next on the list uh, to be hit, right? Oof. And in, um, you guys are in the next to be hit, um, and you got reports that they were gonna come soon, and then suddenly the ice came in early and, and saved you from uh, having to battle them in the fall. 
Um, but now the ice is starting to melt, and that's what's on everybody's uh, you know, mind, what they're talking about, how do you defend this city. Um, you are in Stavanger. Um, Nick, if you want to show the, uh, show the map to people in chat real quick mm -hmm. so they can see it. This is good. It's Honey good wine. mead. It's good mead. Chaucer's brand mead. Woohoo! Um, we approve. <laughs> it's better than the bathwife. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> what is that? Bath the wife. wife? Bath. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. I was like, wait. That's why. He, he missed out. I mean, it should have been bath wife, really, I think. Mm -hmm. So, um, Roll me never know. you are in the back of the uh, hall, kind of out of sight. Um, every, the, the Jarl has a, a problem with you, um, and always has, <laughs> because of your relationship with uh, the family, the fact that he blames you for his wife's death. Um, and so he tends, to, uh, he tends to look down on you and uh, uh, you know, uh, treat you pretty badly. So you tend to try to stay in the corner in the dark as much as possible when he's around. He's at the head table. Um, uh, you guys are close to the front uh, just because of your status. Now to go over, there are, there are three classes. The Jarl class is the noble class. Not everybody who is in the Jarl class is necessarily the head of their um, town or area. It's just their designation. Uh, then there's the Carl class, which um, is I'm the sorry, it's called Carl. Carl, yeah, Carl? C A R L. Nice. And it is. Um, Carl. Carl. It is. Uh, Carl. <laughs> Carl. Oh, you're Carl. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you are. Um, and then there's the Thrall class. The Thrall class is basically the the slaves or indentured servants. Is it Thrall or Thrall? <laughs> I just want to make sure. I just learned something because of all if those you do that low every level. Single time it's gonna, it's, we're gonna, in those video games, there's always the low level people that are thrown at you. Yeah. And they're called thralls. Yeah, and they're the slaves. You're killing what? slaves. Can I can I do a nerdy moment here? Sure. I'm gonna put on your glasses. Nerdy moment. To be enslaved by someone, by their you know, emotionally swayed or enslaved by someone is to be enthralled, and that is where the word comes from. Ooh. Ooh. The more you know. There you go. G.I. Joe. Nick, can you put that rainbow star going yeah. over our heads right now? <laughs> Got that right. <laughs> Thank okay, you. Good. Yeah. I had to put on the glasses. Can, you do, can you do visual <laughs> effects on the fly, please? <laughs> can, can you, you turn my meat horn into a lightsaber? <laughs> <laughs> they had those in Viking Cat. No reason. Could you make that fly look less like a fly? <laughs> on the fly. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We're drinking mead. All right. So <laughs> um, all we'll get there. <laughs> so you're in the corner. You guys are you guys are up front, um, and uh, at one point, uh, you know the the jarl and his son. You know his 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 son, um, and let's see. Atar. Atar. Yeah, Atar Hansen. Atar. Um, Hansen. Yeah. A A S S S O N. Hansen. 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 Uh, you know his son pretty well. You guys grew up together, and he's actually very friendly to you. Um, he, you know, he doesn't bear you any ill will, and that's something that pisses his father off to, to no end. So at some point during the evening, um, the Jarl gets up. His name is uh, Oren, uh, blood, the blood drinker. Um, and uh, he gets up and says, uh, friends, you know, citizens, uh, we need to talk about <laughs> the possible coming invasion that we've heard about and all of us have been speaking about so much lately. The ice is receding and I fear that we will have to deal with, the, uh, with it sooner rather than later. Um, I open up the floor to anybody who would like to give suggestions on how to best prepare over the next week or so to get ready for the boats. Yes? Why do we not burn them where they stand? <laughs> 
Well, do you want to go and attack them first is what you're saying? I would go with her. S go down the coast and, and, and raid them before they raid us? That is my thought. Okay. Anyone else? Any thoughts? I stand with my sister. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is a possibility. <clears throat> my worry is, is that right now, most of our boats are not actually ready to go out. How dare you! I've been working my butt off yes. this entire season. Building your boats. Yes, but they're not in the water yet. Yeah, details. So they have to be in the water to be able to go anywhere. I'll push them in the water myself. We have to be ready for the fact that there is a possibility that they will show up before the ice pack in the bay completely melts and we will be stuck with them landing on the outside of the bay and coming in on foot. Do we know yet the size of their forces, Father? Is there anyone else who'd like to speak? I mean, I think he had a really good question. What? what? <clears throat> Do we know the size of their forces? <clears throat> That's a good question. Yes, it is. Um, Your son told you. My son's next to me. He didn't say anything. Now, um, um, don't get in the middle. we don't, unfortunately. We know that we've, we've heard, you know, lots and lots of different numbers. Syngrud, <coughs> and I said it right, Syngrud the al albino has been attacking several cities all up and down the coast. What does he look like? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen him yet. I would be willing to lead a scout group to go and find out how many they have. That's my niece. <laughs> that might be a good idea, yes. Well, maybe we send you guys out, since you seem so ready to, uh, to fight, and we see what kind of forces they have and what their schedule is. And then m while you're gone, we'll get the, the ships ready. And if... Ships are ready. <sighs> they have to go in the bay first. Put them in the bay then. <laughs> well, that takes some time. The ice is still melting. Just, just give us some time. Drink your mead. I'm out. <laughs> That's when you throw it on the ground. <laughs> so. Another. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you know, this kind of goes back and forth. Other people say things like, you know, should we, should we, uh, you know, get, call up everybody who's, you know, who's able to fight and how many weapons do we have? And, you know, uh, the blacksmith has been working on new swords and things like that as, as this, the winter has gone on. <clears throat> and so uh, there are definitely, you know, people who are in the, the defense side of it talking. Um, <coughs> they know they can get you guys at least out on one boat and, and send you down. It's um, the best boat. I built the boat. Uh, you, you would be going south for a few days. Um, <coughs> uh, they, they talk about the possibility of sending you guys out uh, within a day or two um, to get the information, okay? Um, while you're in this huge hall, like I said, there's a big burning fire. Um, you've got, you know, there's musicians playing. You've got people talking all around, drinking mead. Uh, do you want to talk to anybody else beforehand? <coughs> Before I move forward? Wait, am I going? I'm asking in general. Do you, are you going to try no. to go? Am I going on the boat? I would say you probably would to impress your, to try to impress the Jarl which you had indicated is what you wanted to do, correct? Is, is get, win his good graces somehow? Oh, uh, no. No? No. I don't, <laughs> no, well, I don't need, feel like that's given up for... We need a few more strong men and women. Okay, so would you go at all or would you stay? Uh, not in probably less ordered to. I, I don't know how to fight. Okay, all right. All right, so... Um, uh, but I would think the yard would order. Probably. Probably. Just in hopes that you would die. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So. <laughs> At least it would be an honorable death. That's true. To Valhalla! Uh, 
N no, one only gains entrance to Valhalla when dying uh, in honorable battle, and I cannot hold a sword. Well, have you ever tried? Yes, several times at Father's behest. <laughs> uh, uh, Daily. Your friend comes up. Um, no, your his brother, son, his son, Otter. Or, okay. Otter. Yeah. Um, Otter. Otter. Ot is, it, is it Otar or it's Otar? O it's O T T A R. So I think it's Otar. Otar. Let's say that. That's Otter the Jarl's son. Otter? It's Otar. Otar. Otter. Otar. Why do you, you. You need to be careful. You should say nothing around Father, and then that way he's less likely to get annoyed by you. It seemed a salient point that was not being discussed. Salient? Uh, it seemed um, relevant. That's better. All right. Is it? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> Words. Anyway, um, are, are you, he's going to make you go if he thinks that you can get into a fight. But Father knows I, I cannot fight. I think that's the point. You haven't, you're you so smart and you have such big words that you use, and yet you don't get the point that he's trying to get rid of you. No, Father can come across harshly sometimes, yes, but, but deep down I know that he cares for both of us. Yes. I'm sure he does somewhat. Um, I, I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. Now, um, he's actually a little younger than you are. Um, but, and he kind of looks, he does look up to you because you are smart. You do say things that he doesn't understand. It's like salient would go right over his head. Um, okay. Um, now, uh, he goes, well, maybe tomorrow morning early, you and I can at least practice some, some sword play or at least some shield work so that you're, if you do get forced to go and you get in a bad situation, you can protect yourself. I've been trying to practice for years. I don't think any last minute things will make a difference. <coughs> well, it would make me feel better if we at least tried. Well, sure. Okay. All right. Um, so... Nick's writing a novel. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all for now. Okay. Um, so, before we go any further, uh, let's see. BSB Care gives a pack of three pushes um, to the party. Woo! Woo! Thank you, Thanks, BSB Care. Care. Woo! Um, and uh, <coughs> Megan's character, you get... Oh, okay. Um, well, I'm going to hold on to that. Mm. Yep. Um... I get two rerolls. <laughs> From who? <laughs> who did? From Sci Fit sci Rex. Wait, Sci Fi T Rex? Sci Fi Trex? Sci Fi Trex? Sci Fi T Rex? Yeah. I always do that too. Why can't Trex? Sifitrex. Sifitrex. That sounds like a. Uh, like a medication. Like a medication. Yeah. yeah. Anytime yeah. someone donates rerolls to Wes, we will intentionally mispronounce your name. Oh. Or oh. if you don't, I will, pr I will just say it wrong. Are you feeling a bit gassy? Take Sympatrex. <laughs> By Orberon. Oh, uh, the Orberon. Emmy nomination for me? Yeah. My Emmy nomination was for uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. So. Um, what? Sp Don't worry. I was emanated. <laughs> I was emanated. He was emanated. <laughs> I was nominated for an Emmy for S SpongeBob SquarePants. A long time ago. On SpongeBob SquarePants' behalf, he would have accepted he the award. On I SpongeBob totally would have. Yeah. They're good friends. I'm good friends. He used to live in the ocean. And a pineapple under the sea. He yeah. was SpongeBob Square Man. Yes. Town. <laughs> Square Man. Yeah. Square Man. Square Man. So yes, that's so SpongeBob SquarePants. Um, all right. So uh, you guys are sitting there, and. Um, uh, or as the Viking would call him, Spangbjarb. Spangbjarb Squarman. Squarman. <laughs> Gora comes up and sits next to you. Now, Gora is a, a fighter as well, just like you. Um, uh, she's a little bit, uh, she's kind of an asshole. Um, and uh, she's very competitive <laughs> with you. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you both kind of uh, are trying for the whole glory thing and uh, she's about your age and so there's this competitiveness and she sits down next to you and says you know oh so you're going off on this uh, mission would you possibly like a, uh, a sword hand that knows what they're doing like uh, me 
Oh. I could help you out. I mean, you know, I know you're a little rusty on your 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 uh, shield use, and I would want to be there to help you. That's really kind of you. That's really kind of you. You know, I mean, it's possible that we'll need someone to help pull the boats into the water. <laughs> well, you you and your mother are, are definitely strong, big women. I'm sure you can do that. True. Ooh. You're right. I guess we don't need you at all, then. <laughs> okay. My help's here, if, if, you, if you need it. Perry, I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> <laughs> and after a little while, she wanders away. Um... You totally won that social interaction. <laughs> yeah, I give myself a high five before <laughs> there were high fives. Uh, this was you really invented the high five. This, <laughs> Chaucer's, this mead. Is Chaucer's mead. Chaucer's mead. When you want fine mead, you want Chaucer's mead. But we do have another bottle that's not Chaucer's mead. That we should see. open that up. Well, I'm okay. Now that so, we've been plied with the good mead. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been drinking quite heavily. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have. Mm -hmm. How dare you? <laughs> Quite heavily, more than more than uh, the youngins, more than the youngins. You guys have been drinking a lot. I mean, you know, the fact that you've made it to forty-two is amazing. Forty-one. Forty-one. Forty-two. Yeah. Might no not one happen. has ever made it to forty-two. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. And you don't even know. You're like, I've been here a lot of seasons. I've seen the I've seen Ooh. the ships come back from from uh, battle. from battle several times. So I know that I'm relatively She's old and I've been fire. lucky. <laughs> She's seen rain. Yeah. <laughs> She's seen sunny days that she thought would never. Copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright. Do you want to get seed? <laughs> the shitting. Um, so uh, you guys have been drinking a lot, and um, you know the the night's going on, and at some point, uh, <coughs> uh, it gets relatively quiet for the two of you. And everybody else has kind of kind of cleared out, and you're in this hall by yourself, um, and uh, the fire has died down, and you 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 know you're you're relatively hammered, um, and you hear something outside, uh, just kind of it sounds like a scratching noise on the uh, on the door. Magnus, <laughs> did you hear that? What? Listen. Wait for it. Keep listening. Keep listening. You just hear a scratching noise. No. I don't have anything special. Oh, I thought you were I hearing something. Oh, no, no. Is this rain? This is rain. It sounds like rain. <laughs> is that outside? It is. <laughs> it could be a tree branch. There's no trees There's no around trees here. There's no trees around here. I tried. I cut them all down to make boats. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to take a look? <laughs> sure. Come on, my brother. Let's I have, have an adventure. I strap my axe very messily. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're pretty drunk. Make a dex check for me. <laughs> Uh, 44 under my 60. All right, you're fine. You rolled under. Yay. Well done. Because that's what we wanted, Call of Cthulhu. Yes, to roll, roll under. under things. Under things are good. Do you feel to actually Under things are good. There <laughs> <they're> good. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys go, uh, so what do you do? You're, uh, how are you approaching this? Are you just going to so, go running out there? No, like sneak around the side of the building. You know, well, you're I'm known for my stealth. <laughs> yeah, both of you. No, gun, gun, gun. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna kick okay. open the door. Okay. All right. So you kick open. behind me <laughs> if you my, want. My axe out. All right. So you guys go over and you kick down the door, or so you open, open it, it up. It. Yeah. Kick it open. Something's scratching. <laughs> I'm gonna kick down the door. <laughs> That'll take care of it. <coughs> Classic Viking overreaction. <laughs> There's a bunch of rain coming down, um, which is normal. Of course. You know. Um, <coughs> so, and uh, you guys don't see anything. It's completely dark out. There's no, there's no moonlight. There's just the dim light of the torches inside. Outside, it's, it's almost completely black. And your eyes are kind of getting used to the scene around you. Do we still hear it? I think we just heard it. There's can nothing. I, you don't, do you don't hear. Hidden? You don't. You don't see. Uh, you don't. Um, you don't hear anything. Give me a roll for spot hidden if you want. Oh no, I see nothing. 
<laughs> oh. Just spot hidden. <laughs> <laughs> he said jauntily. That's a 10. I spot hidden. Uh, you <laughs> see something at the edge of the building uh, carved into the wood. Huh. Is it something I can read? It, it's a it's a long scratch along the side of the. Oh, building. it's not it's not like a word. No, it's just a long and scratch. there seems to be some kind of uh, nail broken off in the wood. I'm gonna pull it out. Okay, it's a black, uh, dark, thick, sharp nail. Definitely not human. Definitely not human. Oh, is it bear like? Yeah. That's your best guess. Yes. Bear. <laughs> You hear, you Probably. hear, you hear footsteps, large like thunks in the water, like splashing in the mud. Uh, seems like just uh, a few, a few um, houses down. Hmm. Well, if it's a bear, there's only two of us. I'm not gonna go after a bear. Okay. Oh. So do you guys wander back to your huts or your where you live? Yeah. Okay. So, you go to sleep. You're in your home. Now, yeah. even though the Jarl hates you, he keeps you in relatively, um, he keeps you in relatively good. Not as good. Not this as is good no Chaucers. Chaucer. No Chaucers. No, it's, it's okay. It's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not Chaucer. But it's different. Yeah. It's a bit, it's a bit <laughs> more sickly sweet than mm. the Chaucers. But it's hard to match Chaucer's for oh, quality. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not as great. Not I mean, this is <laughs> mead. This wow. is Irish. This is Irish. It's wine that they're as trying in, to I make taste like mead. I wish yeah. it was Chaucer. <laughs> it is. Uh, I wish it was Chaucer's mead. <laughs> this is wine that they have added honey and spices. This too. is wine before and after its it time. It does make it makes a suggestion, it, and you may wish to drink it with, at dinner with your chicken, turkey, or game. Oh. Okay. Who the hell eats game? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> no one calls it that. You guys are drinking with your game. Oh! 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 Right. Goal! God. <laughs> so far, Nick is so much better than Dom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. He's probably not watching. No. Yeah. He's absolutely watching. Um, <laughs> and shaking his fist at <laughs> I'm going to type you? an angry, strongly worded message right now. Dum, 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 dum. I'll let you know if it comes up. Again. Yeah, please do. <laughs> All right, so um, ugh, your your home is, is, is better than most because he, I don't know if I can actually drink this. I know no, you know, must. I don't know. No, you, you, must. you have to drink it. Or else you can't put your <laughs> can't horn put down. It down. Hold it forever. Yeah. We need to horn hold. I think so, I'm gonna cut it with some water. Let us know how that works. <laughs> He's off. Good luck with that. You didn't even try and mix it. It's Doesn't help. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh help. god. Just makes it more. I can. <laughs> I can stomach it. Oh. I'm, I'm not. I'm not drinking yours. <laughs> oh. well, I'm gonna add some sweet tea and see if that helps. <laughs> really? No. How about some coke? <laughs> right? that? No thanks. So, um, your house is is better than most. Um, now you yourself have a thrall. Wait, I don't live with I don't live with father. No, you don't live with father. He feels that you are a bad. You live a few houses away from him. You're an adult. He recognizes my need for privacy. Yes, yes, he does. So, um, you have a thrall yourself. Do you want to tell us real quick who your thrall is? Oh, Anfroy. 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 Yes, he's a, a French slave that. Um, was was captured in a raid. Um, he's actually a very good friend of mine. You're friends mm. with your thrall. Well, he's he's teaching me to uh, to to read. Why would you want that? You guys aren't here, so I'll just keep addressing <laughs> these voices in my head. Uh, excellent question. Um, I don't have a lot of things to do with my time. But he's so only going to teach you how to read French. Right. Yes. Fascinating language. I, I'm learning to speak it as well. It's the language of the captured. <laughs> they actually have much to offer us. Like, you're much nicer in person, <laughs> Magnus's voice. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, there's a, a a storm coming through, and you hear the rain happening outside. It helps. Um, um, 
Uh, you What's two that? hear the sound, this weird, like, scratching sound on the outside. Now, your house is not very far from the, the hall, uh, and you hear some movement outside. Um, outside your window. Well, not your windows, but your... Zone. Can I... I want to try and listen closely to see if I can identify Absolutely. anything. All right, so listen. 40 under my 55. Nice. Okay. This one is more That's a uh, really uh, high listen. Well, I only have one eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that works. Um, uh, yeah, you definitely hear the sound of uh, something's, uh, something very heavy, you know, squishing into the mud outside and kind of rubbing against the side of the, the house and scratching into the walls. Okay. Does anything sound unusual about it? Yeah, there is something that it strikes you, and you feel like there's something more to it than just some animal. Okay. You personally. So feel. spring is beginning. Yeah. So it could be a bear coming out of early hibernation. Very, very possible. Yes. Um. You hear also then a titter, like a tittering sound, like a. Not how I would imagine a chitter. Uh, a chitter. It's a chitter. chitter. I'm oh, sorry. Chitter. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. not how you giggle. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. <laughs> when I hear a joke, I go. Um, <laughs> right. We know it's terrifying. rather creepy. Can I? Does uh, I'm gonna make a natural world spouse abuse. A yeah. natural world roll mm, to okay. see if it sounds like any animal that I am familiar sure. with. Forty nine under my fifty. Really? Wow. Okay, so you got it? Yes. Uh, no, it doesn't sound like anything you've heard. That's right. Do you, do you hear this? We. What is that machine? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. What does that sound like to you? I do not know, sir. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think, I'm, I'm sorry, you're being stereotypical. <laughs> I, think, I think perhaps a prudent course of action would be to not make any movements or sounds. Okay, sir. So like this, Bull. Sir. Yeah, good, Bull. good job, Alfred. But we. <laughs> How long do we stay like this? Uh, uh, probably until the noise leaves. You hear something climb up the side of your building. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> and and you know it. You you hear it creaking on the the roof a little bit. Sir, do we still should we still stay here? Um. Where are we in relation to where the noise is from coming from the roof? Uh, like, well, how big is my roof? This, if you figure that this whole room is like your your main area, and yes. then you have an area where you sleep, you know, you have two rooms. Yeah, you know, sleep room and main room. Main room, yeah. fire pit. <laughs> you guys are around the fire pit. Uh, he sleeps in the main room. Yes. Um, so he, the whatever's climbing up is is near your room. Um, I think we're safer in here. What if you fall? What if it falls through the? Best not to dwell on that, Envoy. Okay. You hear creaking as this, th whatever's on the top of your roof, is moving around. It's, it's a well-made domicile. You're, I don't know. Your dad doesn't like you very much. It could be, not a good domicile. We've never had anything on the roof before. Oh, sure, but. You know how he abhors poor craftsmanship. Yeah, maybe, possibly. Um, after a few minutes, it, w it seems like it, it walks around on your roof, and then it, it gets down, and then you don't hear anything for a little while. Oh. Do you think it's gone? I don't hear it. Okay. Should I go out and check, sir? Um, best not, I'm right. Uh, I think glad we're glad safest you, inside. Glad you said that. Um, okay. Uh, we'll stay here then. Uh, yes, I think that would be a good plan. Okay. All right. So um, the rest of the night goes by. You don't hear this thing. You sleep no problem. You snore like the devil. Well, 
Somebody <laughs> has to. <laughs> Skull! The next morning, uh, <clears throat> you are sleeping in your room. Right. And you hear the door get kicked in. Yeah. <laughs> Where is he? And you hear stomping through your, you hear your father's, uh, your, your father's footsteps as he's coming uh, through. I'm in my room, father. The door gets kicked open. Oh, hello. And he good, grabs good you. Good morning. He grabs you out of your bed and starts to drag you yeah. through. <laughs> uh, father, well, what's happening? He doesn't say anything. Um, sh shall I have on Freud bring my breakfast Shut somewhere up! <laughs> I'm tired of your tongue. I might cut it out. Ugh. Drags you through the mug into the hall. Um, my, my, uh, sl sleep clothes are, are stained. Shut up! up! I said, be quiet. And he slams you down on the ground. 